I'm Gray and this is Hub Guitar. We're here to talk about the picks made by Howling Monkey. These are made of a super hard material that's actually plant-based called Corozo or Tagua, sometimes also called plant ivory. There are several picks on the market from different people. Kind of, some people are hand making these. Um, there may be some more mass produced ones. Of all of them that I tried, this ended up being my favorite that was made from this particular material. What I really like about this pick, I like the, the etched. Uh, mine has two slashes etched right through it. I think that's kind of cool. I like that these are dyed. The other, the other picks are a plain a white color, which is cool too, but these are a little bit more distinctive. So when I'm doing my videos on YouTube, sometimes you'll see me using this pick because it's kind of a bright red color. It's kind of eye-catching. They do, as of this video, I believe they still offer the engraving, which is really nice. It's only a few bucks, so mine actually has my name on it. That's cool, so I always like to carry this pick with me. Uh, and then going into it, the price, uh, I believe these are somewhere in the $10 price range. So they're not super expensive, but compared to those picks that cost 25 cents, yeah, you might be wondering, why would I spend 10 bucks on a pick? Is it just a gimmick? So I'm gonna try to answer that question for you and uh, demonstrate a little bit uh, why I like this pick and why I usually carry one with me every day. So the feeling in the hands, this pick quickly kind of matches uh, the temperature of your fingers, so it doesn't feel cold or hot. One thing that's neat about this material is it actually will start to curve as it heats up from holding it. So you may or may not like that. You might think that's kind of cool that your pick is a living object that, that curves a little bit. So after you hold it for a while, you'll see that there's actually a little bit of a curve along its plane. And then the, the playing feeling. So one thing about this this pick, it does, it's not the smoothest pick. It's not smooth like acrylic or plastic or even uh, the blue chip picks, which are very, very smooth and glide off the strings. It's a little bit less smooth than that. But it doesn't have a bothersome kind of scratchy feeling. It, it, it glides off of the string fairly easily and it's pretty lightweight, so that's kind of nice. Now because I prefer the smoothest picks, um, I don't always play with this. I often play with an acrylic pick or with a blue chip pick. But this has been, uh, especially among the organic substances, one of my favorites. So let's do a little bit of strumming and a little bit of lead and then maybe we can talk about the tone. So for the strumming, let's do some chords. We'll do a little bit of lead. So it's got a nice balance. It's not super, super slippery. It's got just a little bit of friction with the string. So I actually kind of like the, the feeling of playing with this pick sometimes. So when I want something a little bit less uh, slippery, as it were, I like the tone. It sounds pretty good among all the picks that I have, and that's what makes it one of the picks that I carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis. And then the last thing I like to address, because I can't really give you a review, you know, I'm not going to rate this pick, but just to give you an idea of whether you might like to try this pick, I like to answer the question, would I buy it again? And uh, I think it's definitely. Uh, if I lost this pick, I would probably be ordering a new one right away. It's not super expensive, it's 10 bucks. And I've had this one for well over a year and I haven't lost it yet, so that tells you a little something uh, about that. And I, I make sure that I carry this uh, with me in my pick pouch. It is a little bit sensitive to heat, so it has, it has that curling thing, so you don't want to carry it in your wallet maybe, but I carry it with me every day, and if I lost it, I'd probably buy another one pretty soon. Mm -hmm.